Hi Alex, this is a review of your Chanter lesson from January 15th of 2021. And in this lesson we broke down the very beginning of Castle Dangerous. We worked on the first two bars. So for this week, here's how I want you to practice. I want you to practice the first two bars five times in the morning and five times in the afternoon. Here's your guide. Ready? One. One, two. Ready? One, two. Ready, one, two. Ready, one, two. So that is what you want to do in the morning and then do that again in the afternoon. A couple of things to watch out for is the low G to B with the D grace note. This is right in the middle, or excuse me, right at the end of the second bar. It goes like this. And when we were doing the lesson, I talked about how you should make a speed exercise out of that to help get it really solid, right? Um, one of the things you want to watch out for is when you're on the low G and you're going up to the B, you want to lead ever so slightly with the D finger, right, before these guys come off, and then drop it down. And the reason for that is you want to make sure that the first sound that is heard coming off the low G is a D, right? If you accidentally play these guys, leave these guys up first, right, you're going to accidentally play a B, and we don't want that. It's a, it's a low G. With a G grace note to be, or D grace note to be, the D has to be sounded first. So your speed exercise might go something like this. Right? And you play it till failure. So you're not really going to practice that with me. Um, with my recording necessarily. You want to do it on your own. Speed exercises are a great way to build muscle memory and brain power on these things. Um, the other thing I talked about to kind of break things up a little bit would be to do, go back to your old GDE triplet speed exercises, right? Might sound something like this. You can pick any low hand note from C all the way down to low G that you want. You can do it on low G, right? Here's how that might sound on low G. And again, you play it till failure. And then you start over, do it again. Challenge yourself, see how fast you can go playing it correctly. Um, the last thing I want to remind you of is to play along as much as you can um, when you feel ready with the recording I made last week of Castle Dangerous of the entire tune at 40 beats per minute. And I'll try to put a link here at the end of this video for you so you can get to that. Have fun.